Thanks, Kara. Excellent. Thanks, Kara. Today is May 3rd. Tomorrow is May 4th. We've covered that. And that means Sunday is Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. To give us a little Mexican flavor, we're checking out the celebration from Puerto Vallarta restaurants. Restaurant President Jacob Rodriguez and head chef of the Southington location, Elaine Reyes, are here to tell us all about the fiesta that they have planned. And I'm sure it's a big one. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you guys do not want to miss out on this party. Um, Sunday, May 5th, we will have DJs at all of our locations. All of the locations? All eight of them? All all eight locations Holy all over macaroni. Connecticut, from northern Connecticut to southern Connecticut, and I mean it's going to be quite a party. Okay, quite a party. Do you have a beer? I'm, I'm thirsty. Why I do? There Why I she? Do. She said she wanted one beer. Why one beer? <laughs> You gotta love Modelo's. There you go. That is so funny. I want that for my house. <laughs> that is true. Tell me about Puerto Vallarta. How did it start? Your father started the business, yeah, right? Yeah, so he started it 30, uh, a, couple, a little over 30 years ago. It's remarkable. Yeah, yeah, in the state of Oregon. And then he transferred over here in the year 2000 and opened his first location in West Hartford, Connecticut. And, and we're so happy he did. And it's, <laughs> Nicole and I did, I don't think we realized it's just in Connecticut. Yeah. I thought it was like all over the I place. Know. Yeah, yeah. Well, it has that, like, it just has this professional, national feel to it. It you know? certainly does. Thank you, thank The way you guys you. have it decorated, of course, the, me the menu items, and yeah. it's just it's really good stuff. We put a lot of heart into the locations. Each, each, each and every location is special to us. Speaking of heart, the best way to one's heart is the food. What are you making over here, we're making Chef Reyes? Yeah, thank you. We're making making a, a ceviche, that's a Mexican oh, ceviche. It's a fresh fish that comes with red onion, some avocado, uh, slices of the um, of tomato, and a lot of lime. Oh, so, do you want to try it? Oh, uh, absolutely please. not. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this will be one of our specials for Cinco de Mayo at our locations, which is the ceviche tostada. We will also have steak tacos, taquito lindos, which are like flautas, and street uh, corn on the cob. Ooh. Now, that, it's, oh, tell so me good. about the street corn because yeah. the, what what how, how is that made is it made with mayonnaise yeah so it's mayonnaise and a <laughs> crema mexicana so a crema mexicana is like uh it's like a little cheese and then it, it, we put a little tahini on there as well which and is a spice I, I, believe it or not nicole i actually like that wait yeah what? so scott doesn't like mayo i don't like mayonnaise but I, if it's mixed in with other things i kind of really? i don't mind it as much okay yeah i'd like to see you eat that <laughs> pass that dish along over here corn on the stick corn on the I stick actually, i love how you guys put it on a stick because Thank it is you. very hard to eat sorry my reach for my reach and what about um the drink specials and things that you're gonna have yes. so you have a lot of drinks up here we're gonna have margarita specials of all the locations depending on the location we'll have a little a uh, little bit of a price difference mm. but cantarito mm. is one of our traditional drinks that we're going to offer that day. So beautiful. It's fresh lime juice, fresh orange juice, mm. fresh grapefruit oh juice, gosh. tequila, and grapefruit soda. Absolutely mm. delicious. One of my favorite cocktails. Where's the straw? Grapefruit straw? <laughs> yeah, where's the straw? <laughs> <laughs> what is one of the most popular items, like staple, on your menu that people seem to really, Ste really gravitate towards? Definitely the steak tacos. People okay. are a big fan of tacos. I mean, it's one of the most traditional items in Mexico. But that, and for drinks, actually the cantarito, that's a very traditional drink really? that everyone knows us for. Ooh. Besides um, the margarita, besides the margarita. <laughs> Sheba, could you pass the steak margaritas, please? <laughs> <laughs> I mean the steak uh, tacos, please? <laughs> Come on! He hasn't even had a drink yet! Help me out here! <laughs> I can pass them, that's okay. <laughs> here we go. Uh, oh, and I'm going to have a sip of this, is that allowed? Yeah, of course. So this is Five it. This somewhere. <laughs> this, is, this is just how oh, simple, my word. it's this simple? Just that simple. This is amazing. What Can is on the wrong. rim? It's tahini. It's like uh, cayenne, mm. something like that. Yeah. I'm on fire. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Now it's a party. Oh, good, good. Yeah, skirt steak and a little avocado and a corn tortilla. There mm. you go, Scott. Thank, thank you. Yeah, ready for We're celebrating a little early. There you go. Woo! <laughs> That's really very good. Thank you, thank you. What is it like, you know, you've grown up, yeah. right, from the beginning, you said, yeah. with Puerto Vallarta. Yeah. What is it like now being the president of something you've seen your, you know, your dad grow? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy to see how it all started to where it is now. Uh, I've seen a lot of changes when it comes to staff, when it comes to locations, and when it comes to menu items as well. It literally, it, it, menu items have changed quite a lot. Drink items have changed quite a lot. People's taste buds have changed quite a lot. Used to be a lot of nachos, you know, chips, salsa, guacamole. Now it's a lot more of, you know, seafood and steak that people are a big fan of. Which is great. And it must be fun to really get creative in the kitchen, right? Oh, yeah, of course. All the, like, the back of the house is really fun to spend, like, time with all the people there, like, creating new dishes and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have now, the, even the tomahawk we have over there. Yeah, yeah with lobster, lobster tail. 
Wow, excuse me? Yeah, tomahawk Ooh. steaks and lobster tails. You gotta really? get that Puerto Vallarta. That is oh my incredible. gosh, yeah. that's amazing. What is this we're seeing here? That's a jarrito, so it's a non-alcoholic drink. This is flavored pineapple. It's a Mexican soda. That's what we should be drinking at 9.54. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not a twist off. I think you have to put your teeth on it to Hang open on. it. Just yeah. kidding, just kidding. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, you have to try this, Scott. Okay, what is this? This is really good. The Cantarito. 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 Fresh lime juice, fresh orange juice, fresh grapefruit juice, tequila, and fresh uh, grapefruit soda. And tahini on the rim. Tahini on the rim. So you know, what is tahini? Is it, is it a spice? What is it? Yeah, it's a spice. Mm. Oh! Isn't it good? Oh, Ooh, I love pucker it. up, baby. So I love how you're going to have music at all these locations, yeah, too. How fun. This is kind of like your Super Bowl or Christmas, if you will, right, every 100%. year? 100%. We'll have DJs at all locations. In Stanford, we're going to have a block party, so we're closing down the whole town center wow. parking lot. And we're going to have DJs from 11 a.m. to 1 a.m., so all day. And uh, even DJ Pereira from New York, quite a big following. He's going to be uh, oh, coming, yeah. out, coming out to us. Over how there. did you get him to come? You, know, you got some hookups over there? Ask, ask, ask a friend, you know? <laughs> ask when you shall receive. Yeah. Amazing. So, um, do you guys do brunch? Uh, not anymore. We used to do brunch, but okay, we're going to sure. bring it back soon. Okay. We're going to bring it back soon. Right. And we're open for lunch at 11 a.m. Give us the eight locations. Avon, Southington, Newington, Middletown, Orange, Danbury, wow. Fairfield, and Stanford. Wow. That yeah. really canvasses a lot of the state. It really yeah. does. From north to south. Yeah. North to south. And you go visit all of them? Or? All of them, all the time. They never know when you're coming. Never know. <laughs> you got to be ready. <laughs> you're a busy guy. All right, so there's all the information. And again, 5 5 is Sunday. Wow. Can you believe it? I know. It's hour. insane. I can't believe it's still May. It's wild. I know, it's wild. Stanford Block Party, there it is, 230 Tresher, Tresher excuse me, Boulevard, <laughs> Stanford. Margarita Specials. Uh, and uh, if you're headed to Stanford, make sure you give yourself plenty of extra travel time. Oh, yeah. I think they're above. Uh, well, they're below. They're below. You're absolutely yep. right. You know what? Take Exit the train. seven or eight or and nine. And it's safer, especially if you want to imbibe. Exactly. Right? Take the train. Take the train. There you go. We can't thank you guys enough for being on the show. <laughs> thank you so much. What are you? Are you going to be working oh, Sunday? Oh, 100%. You're working yeah, Sunday? Almost. You got to go yeah. visit us. Go are you guys going us. to get to celebrate, too, at some point? Probably not. Oh, <laughs> no, the next party. Right? We have the next party. Yeah, we'll celebrate. You know? and thank you guys for coming on the show. Thank you. All right. Have a great weekend, everyone. Have fun. Be safe. We'll see you Monday. Mm-hmm.